Hi everyone and welcome back to the Brain Changer Art Project Online. This week we're going to be creating a beautiful seasonal picture using all the leaves that are falling off the trees around us and we're going to cut them into different shapes to design a nice creative picture. Before you start any cutting or writing activity you need to think about the position that you're sitting in. You need to sit on a chair that is the right height for you which allows you to have your bottom as far back on the chair as possible while your feet still being flat on the floor. Your arms should rest comfortably on the table without your shoulders being hunched up. Next, I want you to think about the scissors that you're using. They shouldn't be too big and they shouldn't be too small. Scissors with small oval handles are best for children. And if you're left-handed like me, you'll need a special pair of left-handed scissors. I want you to start by making a thumbs up sign. Whenever you use scissors, you need to remember that your thumb always goes up, like this. And when you're cutting, you should always remember to cut away from you and not towards you. The first thing I would like you to do with the leaves is cut them into strips. I want you to try and do it as accurately as possible so you could try drawing a line first using a felt tip and then cutting along this. Have a go at cutting the strips across and also up and down. The next thing we're going to practice is cutting out a circle. To make this easier, again, you might like to draw the circle on the leaf first and the bigger circle that you can do will make it easier for you to cut out. When you're doing the circle, you need to turn the leaf using your other hand as smoothly as you possibly can, like this. Brilliant. After you've mastered the circle, I'd like you to work on doing some squares and some rectangles. Again, you might like to draw it out first, so that you can get it really accurate. The difference with squares and rectangles is you're going to have to change the position of the paper in your hand to allow you to cut the different sides. So when you have your scissors, you can do it like this, turning it round. And finally, once you've mastered your squares and rectangles, we'd move on to triangles. Sometimes it's difficult to find a triangle to draw around in your house, so you could use a ruler to draw this out. And then again, try and cut it as accurately as possible. And like with the squares and rectangles, you will need to turn the paper round to get those sharp edges. Once you've cut out all your shapes, Emily is going to show you some creative ways to arrange them to make a beautiful picture. If you're finding that using scissors is difficult, it might be beneficial to do some activities to help you strengthen your hand and improve your skills first. You could do this by playing with things such as pegs. As you squeeze them open and shut, it will work on the same muscles as using scissors. Other things you could use is kitchen tongs or tweezers. Why not make a game out of it by moving items from one place to the other? Then you can start introducing your scissors. You would practice by doing things like cutting Play-Doh or a straw. You might want to start using card first as it's a bit more stable and then progress towards using paper. If you'd like any more information about using scissors, please don't hesitate to get in touch. I hope you have lots of fun this week making a beautiful shape picture. And please don't forget to send us any of your pictures because we love to see how you're getting on. Bye for now.